Hello, I am Giovanni Fesser and I am the Patelito Papi. We have Frida Pastelito, PB&J Pastelito, Mame Con Queso Pastelito, Guava and Cheese, Loco Guava and Cheese, Lechon Pastelito, Arroz Imperial Pastelito, Mango Pastelito, Mame Pastelito, Pumpkin Fig, Blueberry, Cherry, Banana, Rabo Encendido Pastelito, which is oxtail by the way. Papi, you're right. There's no empty spots. No empty spots. There's no empty spots. It's true. I grew up eating Carter Bakery, like around Flagler and 62nd. The only pastelitos that I ate really close to my house. There was one point in time that I remember like eating them and being like, oh, why isn't there any different ones? Like we're bored of the same ones. I mean, I didn't, back then I didn't cross my mind to like make any new ones because I wasn't cooking. Oh my God. Dude, this is really good. The chef that I work with, uh, Michael Beltran from Ariette, we did an event for food and wine. He wanted to do a head cheese pastelito, which mind you, head cheese is not cheese. There's no cheese in it. Head cheese is the head of a pig. It was a great event, people loved the, the pastelitos. And then after that event, maybe like a week or two later, I was home and then the pastelitos struck my mind, thinking that this would really work, but let me see if there's anyone else doing it. I came up with two bakeries. Uh, the following day, I went to those bakeries. The stuff that they had was really good, but I'm like, I can do this better. We have here some fresh guava from the Redlands. Oh my God. This is just guava. That's what you just had. Like, you know that, like normally it's like that jelly kind of fruit sound tasting stuff. You might even bite into a little this seed in there too. I approached Chef and I told him, hey man, I'm like, I really want to do these pastelitos. He's like, yeah man, he's like, you're going to be the pastelito papi. And I'm like, no man, no, 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 no. I didn't like the name at first. And then we promoted them for brunch and sold them for brunch at Ariette. Just two different pastelitos. We did maybe five of each. Following week, we did 10. Following week, we did more. And then it turned into like, you know, 50 plus. This is amazing. Like, wow. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I'm glad you guys oh tried it. And my vision for Patelito Papi in the next five years is to, I mean, be as everywhere I can in Miami. I mean, and if it could be out of Miami, that would be great. But basically focus on Miami and just get it in the hands of, of the people that would appreciate it the most and spread the word as much as it can. I mean, I would have never thought that Patelitos would have brought me to Gloria Stefan. Like, that was amazing. Like. How that happened and played out was like so amazing and a couple other celebrities that I, I just can't believe it. And in my mind, I'm just like, I'm just making pasta Yeah, I kind of have a vision of you sitting on the top of a convertible in a parade and it's like... <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's being... Holding the flag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the I just try not to get ahead of myself, you I know? Because know. Like, once you do that... And... One that bothered us growing up was the queso and guayaba one because you eat the corners, it's all dough. And when you get to the middle, the ratio is always messed up. Like either more guava, less cream cheese, or more cream cheese, less guava. I'm dying, I'm dying. That is true, like, you know, that it's is true. like every Cuban American is. problem is you can't have a bite with both the guava and the, and the queso. So have you solved this? <laughs> yes. 